So welcome back to another episode of Dangers in My Heart. Now, I, according to you guys, am apparently an anomaly because I really enjoyed the first three episodes. And you guys did say that the first three episodes are like the barrier of entry because they're supposed to be the weakest of the series. So I totally enjoyed them, especially, man, I feel like it's been getting better and better by the episode. Like episode one was really good. Episode two was <laughs> just really a lot even better. Like it got me so much more invested in the characters. And then episode three got me emotional. And I am completely invested in the story. Like, I've been thinking about watching this episode for so long. Like, ever since I turned off the previous episode, I was like, oh, come on, come on, it's time, it's finally time. Let's let's watch episode 3, so, or episode 4. So here we are, here we are. Finally. Um, so in the previous episode, we had a bit of an accident with a basketball hitting uh, Yamada's face. And she needed to get her nose patched up because it started bleeding, which obviously it got bruised and that means she had to cancel a job. She felt really horrible about it towards her mom, her manager and just herself. So it was just a pretty sad situation. It added a lot of layers to Yamada as a character, I feel like. It showed, it showed her um, that she isn't just like this airheaded girl who doesn't really care much about how things are she just goes with the flow uh it showed that she's not just that that she does actually genuinely care about other people or like i feel like that's obvious but like she cares about you know other people not being let down by her she does put on a lot of responsibility on her shoulders with this job so we, sh we saw that and that was really really cool to see we saw that she is a bit mature when she needs to be so that was cool and obviously Ichika was popping boners left right and center so <laughs> as per usual boys will be boys so it was really really cute it was emotional it was funny so now it's finally time to go into this episode so if you want to watch this uncut and blood it's gonna be on my page which is down in the description and without further ado let's go into the dangers in my heart episode four. Oh yes i forgot to say it ichikawa did confess to himself in his head that he actually kind of likes yamada Okay, I'm gonna pause it. Um, I know it's like <laughs> it's like second, like three seconds in. But um, I said that Ichikawa is a bit of a tsundere. I think in like episode one or two or something. And someone said that he isn't that much of a tsundere. He's just an introverted uh, chuni. And I feel like I see a lot of tsundere aspects in him. But maybe he's not a full-on tsundere. I don't know. Uh, what would you guys classify him as? Like, is there a dare that he fits or not? Nah? Or is he just like a chuny uh, introvert? Because I feel like there are definitely some tropes of, or like some aspects of a tsundere character that he kind of fits. Uh, but not, yeah, I can see why it, he wouldn't be fully called a tsundere, right? What's up? <laughs> Dangerous, don't touch. <laughs> She's gonna eat it later. Ah. Wow, Prut. Is that like some kind of. Ah, it's this. Wait. No, what is this? Is it kind of like a serial thing? Oh. That's smart, though. Yeah. She has the power. Oh. <laughs> Aww, cute. She was... Oh, that was cute. Wait, he's actually kind of tall. At least in that shot. He kind of looked a bit taller than I thought he was. That's not cookie. 
。ヌルヌルヌルヌとかブルーチを両気だと。山田。あ。閉まってる。どの。はい。いやいやいやいや。サイエンス。Into a beaker? That's sick. Yeah? Good. Yeah, ma'am. 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 Yep. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Ah! No way! No fucking way! You know? Oh, it's this girl again. You know, I was thinking about that. I was like, there's no way she looks up and she has some of the, the liquid dripping down her face. That would be really awkward. And they went a step further. Holy, holy, they, I, you know what? I'm not even gonna talk. Let's watch. Jesus Christ. She jealous? What's up? Does she like her? Oh, ah! No, handkerchief. Her handkerchief. What's up? Oh, she wants to apologize? Was she the one that that hit her with the basketball? <laughs> those are creepy. Yeah, those are creepy. No, those are. What do you mean? Those are creepy. You like creepy stuff. Aww, cute. Ooh, the OST man. No! Damn, okay. You got this, you got this. Yeah. Yeah. She did not deny it. 
Oh, cute. Aww. Come on. Ah, oh, don't say that. She's gonna feel bad now. Oh. Ah. いや、知らなかったのかよ。絶対いいよ。私の方がごめんだよ。おかしい食べるわ。ない。あ、雨ならあるはず。ない。あ、雨ならあるはず。ない。あ、おかしい食べるわ。ない。あ、雨ならある
心の病なんだありがとう重かったでしょいや全然しょうがないからこれあげようえ嘘そなえ驚きすぎじゃないえい、you have no idea how much he's been thinking about that, Yamada. W. Yo! Yo, he knows how this works. He's so good. He's so good. You're good. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! He stopped the taxi. Oh shit. Ah,、uh, you know what I like here? I don't know if this is me reading too much into it or if it was intentional, but he, you know, he was thinking about, overthinking about how the police and stuff like that. And then she said, afraid of a little change, hey? And then he was like, you know what? He, I'm gonna do the opposite of what my overthinking says and I'm gonna. Go past the police station. So it feels like he made an effort to put in, to like make a slight change to his normal lifestyle in that moment just because of what Yamada said.、I've, I'm pretty sure that's intentional.、Uh, and that was really, really cute. A cute detail, man. I really like it. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 of course. I'm pretty sure it's like. That's your excuse? Not the brightest tool in the shed. That face is so devious. Busted. I really like the fashion in this. One of my favorite things in anime, period, is when characters actually get new outfits. Like, whenever you see, when it's not like just two outfits, you know, when they actually have like an arsenal of outfits, you know, when they actually have a wardrobe. 
I really like that. I appreciate that a lot about any anime that has it. So I hope that we'll get to see a few outfits, outfit changes during the anime. That would be cool. <laughs> Ha. Yeah? She was trying to tease him? She went to say hi to him? Or... Okay, okay, so, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Dude... Dude, okay, yeah, so... Once again, I don't know if I'm reading too much into it, but it feels like she, Yamada, felt really relieved almost when... Ichikawa's sister said that, well, she's his sister. So maybe Yamada was a bit worried that he was on a date. But I don't know. I, it doesn't feel like Yamada likes Ichikawa that way yet. But I don't know. That's the vibe it kind of gets me. Or like, it makes me feel, you know? Yeah? Get it? Come on. Aww. You can. You can do this. Here she is. No! No! Come on, you got it. She knows how to use her powers. Yeah, impartial judge. <laughs> An impartial party. <laughs> That's trash. Cutting off a teacher? Yeah, lawyer! Show me the evidence! Show me the proof! Okay, Ace. Ace? I, I meant Phoenix. It's Phoenix, right? right? Mm. Yes, objection. Oh, cute. Oh, cute. Defending his girl. That's cute. Oh. Sophism? Yeah? Yes, I knew. I knew it. I knew it. He's gonna leave the other one to Yamada. He left the other one for Yamada. Cute. Oh shit! Nope. Nothing. Okay. Oh, okay. So, if my limited understanding of Japanese is correct, I'm pretty sure at the end she said, just call me Yamada, right? Or it's okay to call me Yamada. So, no, because he called her Yamada-san in the office, if I, um, 
remember it correctly. So that's that was really cute. I'm not certain about how exactly the tier list of you know how you call someone is in Japan because I know like Yamada san is probably the most formal one, right? Because it's your last name plus san. Like when it comes to like the normal ones, let's take away like Sama or like Dono or whatever. So it's Yamada san. Then what about because yeah, just calling someone Yamada is that more still more formal formal than calling someone like Anna? Her name is Anna, right? Anna Chan. Would that be more casual than Yamada? Because Yamada is without any um, suffixes, right? Without any suffixes or without any honorifics. But then Anna Chan does have an honorific, but it's by her first name. I don't know. I don't know how it exactly how exactly it works because I know the most casual one would probably just be Anna, right? Without any without any honorifics. But I don't know. <sighs> yeah. So I'm guessing it's Yamada San into. Yamada into Anachan into Anna. I'm guessing that's how you know how the tier list goes, you know. Um, but I'm not 100 percent sure. So, anyways, you guys were not lying when you said that it just keeps getting better because this episode was incredible. It's so good, dude. The scene in the science lab is gonna be living rent free in my mind until well, probably the next episode, and then it's gonna be replaced by something else. But Jesus Christ, what an what a scene. What a scene. I knew exactly what they were gonna do. Or like, I had a hunch. I had a hunch they were building up to that. Because this anime is just built like that. So, it was a, it was a funny scene. I like it. Um, it was really, really funny. I like how much... Like, I like how they're portraying the early puberty stage of like, both boys and girls. It's really cute. It's really cute. And also we saw that... The two girls, you know, the Re, uh, was it like Ren, Ray, something like uh, Ray, I think was, and uh, I forgot the other girl's name, but the two that were um, apologizing to Yamada and stuff like that. Um, it really did show as well how puberty hit her, and that's why her friend was like, "You, you weren't like this before." I'm guessing that's why beca because of like obviously you change b with puberty and stuff like that. I'm guessing that's kind of the reason why. So it's really cute seeing all of the um, characters going through it you know being like just hormonal beasts right now so it's really cute really really cute oh man and obviously that mcdonald's scene or sorry it was like mcdonald's or something I, I don't know what it was called but that was really cute as well so yamada actually does want to talk to ichikawa now we don't know what her exact thoughts are because she is someone said in the comments that she is more of a show don't tell and i think that's a really good description because with ichikawa we see or we hear everything that he's feeling right we don't necessarily always see it because he keeps so many things bottled up but we hear it because well of the inner monologue we have but with uh yamada we don't hear it but we often see exactly what she's feeling both in her body language her gestures her um facial expressions and she also talks about it more often than Yamada does or sorry than Ichikawa does so I feel like it's really a really nice contrast between the two so I'm excited to see the next episode man I want to binge this but I really enjoy you guys uh, reading your guys's comments and stuff like that after each episode so I see if I missed something or anything like that so that's why I'm not watching multiple episodes in a day because I just like um your guys' feedback on each episode before i go into the next one so anyways i'm gonna end it here hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace